hi guys welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome and if you're an og oldie but a goodie thank you so much for coming back to another video so today we have the long-awaited updated six-figure side hustle for nurses the last time that i did this video was actually back in 2020 i cannot believe it's been that long since i updated new ideas new hustles new things for nurses to do so this video has been highly requested over the past few years and I'm finally here to bring you guys fresh new ideas of either businesses, side hustles, just different things that we as nurses and nurse practitioners can do to generate an extra little income. Before I hop into the topic, I did want to say thank you for the love on my last video. If you were here, you know, if you're an OG and you've been watching my videos, thank you guys for the love, the support, the conversation in the comments on my last video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for everything. So I just wanted to throw that out there before I jump and almost like switched gears from like the last video to this one and made like that big jump but thank you guys so much for sharing space with me all right guys so let me hop into my notes because I have probably about 12 side hustles I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of them I'll probably pick and choose like my favorites from here but I just have notes and things that I have just kind of came up with or maybe came across and things that you guys can do for a side hustle just to generate more money. I want to start off by saying all of these side hustles and businesses and things have the potential to reach six figures, but let me let me be the first one to say that nothing is easy, okay? I went through my last video and I was kind of going through the comments, like seeing what people, you know, what people liked about the video, the comments and stuff, and I did see some of them saying, I did see some people saying, "Oh, you know, a lot of these are easier said than done. They require effort." absolutely guys this is not like a get rich quick video like oh start this and in six months six figures or like six figures in your first year like that is not what this video is all of my businesses everything i've done you guys have taken time for me to reach a level of you know profit and success and just sustainability in the business like nothing happened overnight okay so I want to start off by saying that because I don't want you guys to hear you know what I'm saying and being like okay like that sounds so easy I'm just gonna jump into it and you're gonna make quick money like that is not what this video is all about okay I'm not I do not teach get rich quick things these are literally legit business and side hustle ideas that you guys can do either part-time full-time whatever it is that you want to do but these are just ideas and things that you can do just to generate more money while using your nerve nursing degree and your nursing license um, the other thing that I saw throughout the comments was you know things that I didn't mention regarding like insurance and business things and this is not like a how to start a business video so obviously I'm not going to go into all the, the ins and outs of how to start each of these side hustles this is literally just ideas okay I'm just planting a seed in your head of like you know what that sounds good that sounds like something I might do but it is still up to you to go on the World Wide web on the internet and get more information about it maybe see who's teaching this stuff um where can you actually learn the ins and outs of each of these side hustles okay this is not a how to start a six-figure business video okay this is just ideas for you guys all right now that all my little disclaimers are done let's get into the side hustles i'm gonna start with the number one okay honorary mention because here i am at my med spa so let's go ahead and just start with that one and get it out the way because i do have new ideas but i couldn't do this video without mentioning IV hydration okay and I'm not gonna go into detail like I said with any of these businesses and like how much you can make but IV hydration you guys this is a business that I do obviously here I am at my spa in case you guys are new here I am a nurse practitioner and I'm the proud owner of Revitalux Medical Spa here in Greenville South Carolina and this is a six-figure business for me okay it did not start off as a six-figure business I actually did not hit six figures until year two which to me that's amazing like two years into the business you're already making six figures not making but keeping six figures in profit because it's one thing to make the money but but how how much are your expenses like are you actually even keeping that the first year in any business is usually not profitable a lot of people actually don't even make money or even are in the negative because you have to you know just factor in all your expenses like the first year has so many expenses I made a lot of mistakes so obviously yeah <laughs> I lost money and I had to make it back with the business so but once I jumped into year two, I made and kept six figures and now I'm on year four with the business and it still continues to be a six figure business. So absolutely love it. I think it is very stress free. Um, overall, 
easy, I don't like to say easy for any of these businesses, but overall, depending on what you consider easy and stuff or hard, I think that for me it was very doable um, and it's still doable and I just love it, you guys. It is, like I said, I feel like the main thing I can say is that it's very stress-free, it's very flexible. I do not do this business full time and I still make six figures in the business. So let that soak in. I love that this business is, like I said, you can do it if you still want to work as a nurse, if you just want side income, um, if you just want something fun to do that's bringing money like it's just any way you want to do this business it's gonna be profitable okay it does not cost a lot to start it it does not cost a lot to run it if you do it right and get trained properly okay it does not cost a lot to run the business and overall the profit margin the return on investment is very high when it comes to IV hydration so we're gonna start off with that, okay? So IV hydration, definitely my number one six-figure side hustle for nurses or nurse practitioners to do. Okay, next one is gonna be health coaching, okay? Guys, we can all use our medical knowledge. So, and I'm reading off my notes, guys. I hope that's not distracting. I just feel like I have notes for each of these, but you can use your medical knowledge to provide personalized health coaching services. So things like weight loss, weight management, stress reduction, overall wellness. You guys are gonna hear like the theme of wellness maybe throughout this video because that's what I know and love and what I know that is profitable, okay? We are in a wellness-driven society, especially since the pandemic since 2020 a lot of people are starting to take control of their health okay so they, they want to be healthier they want to know what are the right foods to eat what are the actual workouts they need to do um how do they come off medications okay here in the spa you guys because it's more wellness focused i hear a lot of clients come to me and they just want coaching they literally want coaching and i'm like you know what that's i mean i offer it with my consultation like i'm gonna help you pick a drip and pick your vitamins and stuff but like they want to know more like i have people come in and they're like okay i have like high blood pressure like i want to come off meds like a lot of people in the wellness in industry or that just want to be healthier they want to come off prescription stuff and start to do wellness related things to manage your health so health coaching guys as a nurse or a nurse practitioner you have credentials to back things up i feel like i see a lot of like influencers and just different people right like there's so much conversation online with different kind of topics you have gut health you have stress you have mental health you have nutrition you have fitness like there's so many topics that we as nurses and nurse practitioners like i said we have the knowledge and training and the medical background to give even more personalized advice and we know the meds we know the foods we know this kind of stuff so health coaching is a huge industry guys i like my ideas my mind just goes crazy with like the amount of stuff you can do when it comes to re in related to like anything health coaching um like i said you could do one-on-one -on -one consultations you could do virtual consultations you can write ebooks related to this you can have a whole podcast related to health coaching like you can have a blog i mean literally anything that's producing money but that's related to just coaching people on their health okay amazing i feel like i would love that a lot of this stuff is like things that i would enjoy okay if i had extra time or if i ever wanted to like switch it up and do a whole new business these are things that are my ideas and i'm literally sharing it with you guys okay so this goes a little bit with kind of hand in hand with the health coaching but this one is medical writing okay so you can write either articles blog posts for healthcare websites or or even magazines um, you can create content for medical professionals so maybe offices hospitals doctor you know providers such as education materials or training modules so again you can literally create a whole business related to that knowledge that we already have right like the things that we learned in nursing school that's in our notebooks filled with notes that's just sitting there like you can write it in for other people okay so if you like writing this is for my people that love writing I feel like blogs are very much still well and alive i know we're in this digital like video TikTok, like scrolling through stuff but blogs are still very active you still have your older generation that may not be into swiping through TikTok or swiping through youtube to watch a video and they're just on google trying to find stuff and blogs are still out there okay so if you're a writer if you enjoy writing and connecting with people like that um 
blogs are such a great way to generate money guys you can literally run ads on your blogs you can charge a subscription for it like i mean just endless ideas on how, on how to actually generate the money but if you enjoy writing that is another way um, okay next one is going to be a scrubs line okay i feel like if you enjoy fashion if you enjoy online sales if you enjoy that kind of thing i feel like a scrubs line is great for you um people have asked me in the past like would i ever start a scrubs line things like that because I feel like if you enjoy that you like colors you like designs like you're just a fashionista a fashion girl or guy um a scrubs line is going to be amazing okay now there's people teaching you i actually know somebody so if you're interested in that i have a contact for you um one of my friends she has a successful scrubs line and she teaches how to you know get your material how to get designs made how to do the shipping like the whole package on how to do it so i feel like that is a very profitable business okay because now we have social media so you can literally hire um influencers other nurse creators like nowadays we have a lot of people online that are nursing influencers right like nurse creators that you can connect with to promote your scrubs line things like that so again can very much become a profitable business what i do like about the scrubs line as well is that you can run this kind of business actually i think all these that i've mentioned so far you can run them online which is what i love i'm a huge fan of online business my spa is the only business that i do that is a storefront like you know it's it's here it's local it's in the city but i have other businesses other things that i do that are not you know they don't require me to be in one place and i'm a huge fan of online business okay because i like to stay flexible i like to be able to make money if i'm traveling if i want to be somewhere for four or five months i can still generate money so i am a huge fan of online business so a lot of these are going to be related to things that you could do online that don't require you to have like a place you know paying rent and stuff like some of them yes but some of them you can do online very low cost you know low recurring expenses okay guys the next one is home health slash concierge really more so concierge okay there's so many things that you can provide concierge so let me just explain what that is concierge is that you go to somebody's house you know somebody's wherever you're coming to them so concierge is a very luxury high paying field high paying industry and the amount of things that you can do concierge is literally endless so number one IV hydration is one of the things you know if you again think about which population you like there's so many populations when we think about nursing right so again when you're trying to narrow down like what are these which one of these ideas i want to do narrow down what you like so let me give you an example for me i love wellness okay so that is the population of people that i like to serve i like to serve patients and clients that are proactive about their health are you know they're into holistic things they're into herbal treatments they're into that kind of thing right so that's my population that i like when it comes to aesthetics that is a different population right that's people that love you know that's people that want to take care of their appearance self-care anti-aging skincare you know that's a different population so again let's think about post-op i feel like when i think about concierge i'm thinking post-op not just like cosmetic surgery although that is a big field that you can tap into and if you are in cities where plastic surgery is a big thing it be a profitable business for you to go and provide post-op care to somebody that's just coming out of cosmetic surgery right because they've already invested in the surgery and they need the post-op care now there's other post you know post-op can go for any kind of surgery right so you can literally have a whole concierge business that is just providing post-op care maybe you're a professional in this maybe you work in a post-op unit i'm saying and your whole business could be that you can go provide a service maybe wound care vitals check maybe you know every x amount of hours you're going to check in on this person maybe you have a team member that's going in so literally a whole business related to post-op keep in mind guys when i'm throwing out these business ideas don't don't think in the back of your head like who's gonna pay for that who's gonna pay for that I feel like I need a moment of silence because I hear that a lot and I feel like that comes from people that may not really be business savvy or really think you have to think outside the box you know what I'm saying like there's a whole population out there and there's always going to be a group of people that are going to pay for these services right okay you need to know your target audience and again I'm kind of like I'm kind of deviating here I said this was not going to be a how-to and a training video but again when it comes to your marketing you're going to need to know who which clientele you're actually going to target but yes there are people that are going to pay for this concierge medicine 
Oh, a big thing in the rich, affluent communities, okay? A lot of people don't wanna go to a doctor's waiting room or an urgent care because they have the sniffles or a sore throat or they're having um, urinary pain. They already know maybe they have a UTI. They don't wanna go and sit in an urgent care. They want to call their phone, call their private nurse practitioner or they call their private RN to come to their house, do their assessment, do their vital signs, write their prescription and that's it, okay? And they're gonna pay a fee for that. So again, you need to know who you're going to market it but I don't want you guys to have the in the back of your head like these businesses like who's paying for these services or like is this actually gonna be profitable so again to wrap up I forget I'm not keeping track of the numbers guys but concierge is a huge one so again like I said post-op IV hydration what's some other ones let me think off the top of my head I think um, like I like I just mentioned primary care services when you can do that concierge even pediatric okay so if you're a pediatric nurse or a pediatric MP I feel like again the affluent community yeah where like kids are like coughing and everything if i know like oh my child is like maybe i don't know running a fever vomiting like me in the back of my head i kind of already know okay, you know what i probably call a concierge service come to my house write me this prescription and let's pay you your fee and that is that okay so pediatrics is one um man like any population right you could do concierge for any and every population okay guys so this is a different one and this is called being a medical courier i don't know if you guys have heard of this little side hustle this is something that you could either do part-time full-time make it your whole like job or just do it on the side for extra money but medical like being a medical courier is kind of like the uber eats of Met the medical fields now you don't even have to be a nurse to do this this is literally just like kind of out there for not everyone but you know just very minimal qualifications on getting into this field but it is actually very well paid and very flexible so this is more like a 1099 work so it's not necessarily a business although you can start your own company right but this is more like you're a 1099 you're contracted out Again, think Uber Eats, think DoorDash, places like that where you kind of pick up where you want to go and deliver medical supplies. Okay, so this is almost like you are the private, like FedEx, you're the private UPS for certain hospitals, certain clinics, maybe private practices, and you're delivering maybe like fragile goods or things that are maybe perishable, um, certain like pharmaceuticals that need to almost be like hand delivered. Um, and again, they're cutting out that FedEx in the middle. I love this little side hustle because you can almost decide like how much or how little you want to work it. I mean, I feel like all of these side hustles are kind of like that but this one again it's more like a 1099 kind of thing which by the way a 1099 is an independent contractor so you're not like an employee of the company you're just like a contractor and you again you pick and choose like do you want to do this today do you not are you do you have extra time in the day did you maybe have a day off i mean whatever you want to do or like i said if you wanted to do it full time like you just want to make this your thing that is definitely an idea to throw out there and i have seen people training um on getting into this field and stuff and it's like i said it's pretty quite well paid and it's very flexible guys okay all my ideas that i'm throwing out there i like flexibility especially if it's going to be like your own business or you being a contractor um, okay, so the next one that I wanted to throw out there is consulting and training, which is actually my other business, right? So I teach, um, I teach nurses and, and healthcare professionals and stuff. My specific field is, of course, IV hydration. So that is what I know. That is what I'm good at teaching and good at training. So I teach IV hydration business startup courses, right? So pick and choose or decide or figure out we all have a skill as nurses and MPs and stuff we all have a skill we all have that one thing that it's like this is what I'm good at this is what I'm good at for me it's IV starts it is um, IV insertion just anything related to an IV like how to manage an IV um, vitamins things like that so I, I am honed in on my field and that's what I can teach right and think about what you are good at what can you teach okay training is a huge industry people are going to pay for your knowledge okay so again think about what is it that you're good at the first thing that i would do if i was trying to get into this field is decide number one take a look at what unit are you already working in right or what type of nurse practitioner are you and then decide like what am i good at here what can i create a training course on maybe for new nurses maybe for seasoned nurses maybe for 
doctors again that goes into maybe targeting your certain population that you want to reach to but you can create a training course on multiple things okay people are going to pay for your knowledge you have the credentials behind it you have the experience behind it and you can literally create like anything it could be an online course it could be an in-person course it could be i mean just all kind of stuff i know um, I know some people are saying like, oh, the courses are like played out. Everybody's trying to teach. Like there's people teaching stuff that don't even have credentials, right? Like there's people teaching. Okay, let, like let me not even get into that. But there's people literally out here teaching stuff that don't even have the credentials. Okay, so you having the credentials and licensing the stuff behind, you know, behind your name, that's already going to add value. That's going to add um, credibility to whatever you are trying to teach and train on. So that is one thing. The other one is going to be consulting. Now, consulting can go many different ways. Okay, so again, so again, to give an example with my business, it's consulting and training, right? So the training is I'm training nurses and people how to start IV hydration business. The consulting, I actually consult with business businesses, right? So if you're already in a business, let's consult, let's talk. How we how can we scale this? What's going on? What are we doing wrong? So it's just kind of almost helping business owners. So that's my population, right? My population is business owners, but it, it could your population could be maybe a hospital, maybe a practice, um, maybe reach out to the practice managers. Again, this goes back to marketing. Yes, you can provide consulting services to healthcare organizations or medical practices, right? You can put your knowledge out there on how you can consult with them. So some ideas on consulting could be um, helping them improve their process, right? I feel, I feel like a lot of clinics and stuff like they just need help with workflow like what is going on with people's people's workflow out here so that could literally be one of the services you offer um the other one that i put um implementing new technologies like that could be one okay if you're a techie person that could be a service that you offer um regulations could be another one um so anything that you can really consult with right to help a clinic i would probably reach clinics um rather than hospitals because i feel like hospitals are like such big organizations like it may be a little difficult to like market and get into like the hospitals but like clinics especially private practices right like for example myself like what if i would need help with i don't know maybe some new technology or something that could simplify my workflow whatever it may be i'm you know that's somewhere where I may tap in and reach out to a consultant and be like, hey, come help, come help me out here in my practice or come train my staff, you know, whatever it may be. So consulting can go like so many different eras, um, but that is definitely a very profitable business. Like I said, anything, re anything related to consulting, training, coaching, teaching, like anything like that is going to be very profitable because people are going to pay for your knowledge and you can literally charge what you are worth because we are worth a lot. Our brain is filled with so much information so we can charge our worth. Oh yeah, and I made this one separate, but honestly, I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand and that was healthcare education. So that was teaching classes, workshops, anything that you can teach, like again, kind of falls into the training category. And again, to throw out like who your target audience can be for this, it could be patients, it could be caregivers or other healthcare professionals. So again, think about your field. For me, I target healthcare professionals, right? Because I'm teaching how to start this business. So that is my target. But you can literally create classes, workshops, maybe targeted towards patients. Again, and this almost throws it right back to the health coaching point that I talked about. Because once you kind of come up with a side hustle idea, you guys, it could literally become like multiple side hustles that's why i don't know if you guys are kind of seeing like they're all kind of merging together <laughs> and you're like yeah you could literally take one and start with one thing and turn it into like three different businesses again kind of like what i did i started the men's spot and then what i branched off into a whole second business and once you start one side hustle it could literally snowball into a whole bunch of different things that you can do to generate money okay so this is also a new one that's kind of like a little different and this is medical product sales okay and i kind of came up with this idea because you know obviously i order medical supplies i have a medical supplier account and as i go through to like order the things that i need for my practice i see there's a lot of different like medical products on there that like <laughs> that people may just need to rent it out like they may not need to purchase a whole thing but you can literally have a whole rental company when it comes to medical products okay so so yeah stuff like medical devices home health care supplies like things like that you guys know like where are people getting these things right where you can literally have a company related to medical sales again i'm not going to go into teaching and training how you would do that but of course you're going to need some type of provider on the team to maybe write the prescriptions for because these are legit medical supplies right it's not like you're going to create a medical supplier account 
go in and just order stuff to rent and sell no okay you're gonna need to a lot of this stuff um you know if you're doing medical business you're obviously gonna need a medical director you know things like that but and you can either do that online in your local area um very well paid okay when it comes to renting supplies like and you're not really doing much you're not providing a service you're literally just renting out your things that you know yes it's going to be an investment to maybe purchase the things up front but once you have them you're literally just renting them out to it could be private clients it could be to a certain you know you can maybe partner with insurance companies like again the ideas are endless when it comes to this but i feel like this was kind of different um and this may be more so for like somebody that's maybe a little introverted or maybe, or maybe you just don't want that patient interaction right there's different businesses out there that do not require like direct patient care or a direct patient to provider interactions right so this may be one for somebody that maybe wants to just have a company okay guys and the last one that i want to throw out there i don't know how many i've done but i did want to just kind of throw this one out there and that and pretty much anything regarding social media when it comes to healthcare. okay like i imagine you as a nurse or a nurse practitioner you know marketing and talking about actual healthcare related things right so things like supplements things like um, apps like stuff like that just so many ways where like nurses are needed is kind of what i'm trying to say and when it comes to social media like oh my gosh the ideas are just endless guys i've done a bunch of different things on social media that i've been able to monetize and do with my nursing degree so, yeah like i've partnered with brands i've partnered with apps i've partnered with local companies i've done advertising for local companies even things that maybe you guys haven't seen because not everything is you know i don't do everything to have to post on my page um, but sometimes i'm recording and doing maybe an advertisement or an ad or something that actually goes to the company and and then they use it right so i've done that with multiple companies actually um like i said apps apps are a huge one where nurses are needed in the room right you need that expert advice um and this again could kind of even tie in with what i mentioned earlier the medical writing so you being um the nurse or the nurse practitioner on the team to write certain blog posts um i know i've talked about this app before but i use natural cycles to track my cycle and literally when i go into their literally when i go into like their library to like read blog posts and stuff i literally see like the authors and it'll be like an md or an rn or an mp and i'm like wow this is cool like these people are actually on the team like writing these blog posts like these research articles um if you're into that stuff um the apps are endless so pick something that you like like i love women's health so um outside of wellness i think my second favorite field is women's health so I, yeah like talking about like birth control and um anything women like I, I really enjoy women's health but again if you're pediatrics maybe hop on like a pediatric app or again ideas are endless i feel like i'm just going going because like that's how my brain works guys but how did i even get in how do we even start this? Oh yeah, social media. So again, social media, the ideas are endless. Sponsorships, affiliate marketing. All, you know, you could be affiliated with a scrubs line. You could be affiliated with so many different people. I'm, I'm telling you, nurses, we are needed in these rooms, okay? Um, I was watching a webinar and it was all about finances. And guess what? It was a room full of like financial people and there was one nurse in the room. Why? Because the webinar was related to healthcare and finances and like how healthcare providers can, you know, make their money work for them. like that whole kind of thing and i'm like wow this whole webinar was targeted for like healthcare, you know for um people that actually work in hospitals and things like that or but yeah there was a nurse in the room like i said so everywhere nurses are just needed in, in multiple industries guys um so again just kind of get your brain working figure out where and just where you fit in and how you could turn things profitable okay guys so that is going to be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed these side hustle ideas that i gave you guys like i said these can either be full-time hustles that turn into full-blown businesses or they can literally be just a side hustle right figure out what it is that you want to do a lot of people start off with side hustles and then become full-time business owners with the side hustle so again multiple different ways that you can go about it but these are just ideas like yes my goal with this video Video was simply to plant ideas and plant a little seed in your head on things that you can potentially do to earn more money but I do not teach on any of these things so don't go in the comments like girl how do I get started with this girl how do mm. I don't know I said y'all gotta go on the world wide web and find you a coach find you somebody that's already doing it that you can learn from step by step on how to get into some of these fields the only one I can teach and train and talk about is 
IV hydration because that's what I do. So if you want to get into that, of course, my information is in the description box on my classes and everything I offer when it comes to training on that. But yeah, guys, as with any business, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes dedication, and it takes consistency. So I wanted to throw that out there before I end this video because I do not want people to be like, oh, let me just hop on over here and start this blog and it's like you're not gonna make one blog post and make six figures okay we all know this but once you stay consistent stay consistent i'm telling you profit comes profit comes the money comes but you have to stay diligent and stay consistent with whatever of whichever one of these things that you do okay so so again i felt like i needed to reiterate that because i don't want people to say like well how is this gonna be six figures like again we said this is not get rich quick this is something that is gonna this is literally something that you pour into it pour into it and you watch it grow and you watch it grow and next thing you know your money is growing your bank account is growing and you are able to pull back from your toxic job that you may not like okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye